I used to think that networking was the dumbest thing in the world. You contact random people online for the hopes of them giving you some sort of job opportunity or access to a certain group of people without even the guarantee of them responding or even having that access to someone. However, I am a changed man. And as I've progressed in my coding journey, I've realized more and more the importance of networking. I'm telling you, you will not really do much in your coding career if you don't know the right people. But let's say we have two people trying to get a specific programming job. The first guy, for example, he is a top tier programmer. He's built five applications and he fits perfectly with the job, right? And the guy that he's competing with, though a worse programmer, is friends with the owner of the company and has some connections with him. I guarantee 99% of the time, the dude with the good network will outbeat the better programmer. And at this point, you can either complain like I used to do or get better at networking and implement it as part of your coding strategy. And that's what I'll be showing you in this video. Now, the first main aspect of networking is picking a social platform. Now, there are many such as like YouTube, Discord, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. And although many of them are good, I highly recommend you go with Twitter due to the amount of people on there and the amount of coders on there that are posting content and are actively going on there. It's just a really good platform to talk to people and to get to know others. Now, once you've picked a social platform, it's time to do some tough work. And honestly, here's where a lot of people tend to mess up or quit. And it is to just start posting content. And no, I'm not saying to post YouTube videos or post 50 times a day on Twitter. Post about what you're interested in, which is probably coding, and do it consistently. Maybe it's like a new tech stack that just came out or it's some AI news thing, but just post content so people know that you know what you're talking about and that you're in their field. And alongside that, you want to document your own coding journey. So for example, maybe you built your first website with like HTML and CSS. I'm telling you, no one cares how good it is. If anything, people are highly supportive of those that are coming up and they will be happy for you for building your first website, even if it looks shitty. And so far, right, we've covered the platform that we're gonna pick, which is probably Twitter or LinkedIn, but you know, more likely Twitter. And we're starting to post content, documenting our journey, and just talking about code. The next part of it is where we're actually gonna start networking. And once you start garnering your attention, maybe you have like 50 or 100 followers and even posting every day for some time, maybe some coding content and to network, okay? This is way easier than you think. All you wanna do is either comment on the people you wanna network with on their posts or DM them personally. But what's important is that you're A, gonna be yourself and B, you're not gonna talk about networking or job opportunities or anything like that. As a creator, I get so many requests to work with me, to you know get paid or like some video editor and i'm just saying okay as a human being you have to think of it like as a human the last thing you want in your dms or in your messages is someone asking for money for a service you want authentic people that want to talk to you that care about you and have similar interests with you and so maybe some guy you're trying to network with posts a really good post on Twitter or posts a really good video on YouTube and like he shared it on Twitter. Maybe you can DM him saying how good that video is and how much you enjoyed it. And maybe the next time you talk to him, you're like, hey man, I really like your content and I like, I really appreciate what you're doing. And you know, this is awesome. And slowly, you know, over like a month or two period by constantly just DMing, you know, sharing stuff and just talking to the person like a human being, you will establish a great connection with that person. Now, okay, not everyone is gonna answer their DMs, maybe like not the big, big, big creators, but genuinely people are gonna answer. But all I'm saying, okay, if you just be yourself, you have a posting history, you know, you talk about stuff, you just genuinely care like a human being, not some fan that's talking to him, but actually like a human being that wants to establish some sort of connection, then you will eventually get it as a result of treating the person like a human being, talking about their interests and your interests, and then going from there. And then maybe in the future, if you want, you could ask for an opportunity or some sort of further connection, or it's probably just a friendship, who knows? But in like a one big summary, okay? You wanna pick the platform, you want to post on that platform, you wanna DM or contact or comment on people that you want to connect with and then just constantly do that genuinely. And you see how I'm emphasizing being yourself because I know you probably are thinking 
that you can just go into someone's comments, say that you want a job and then hope that they give you a job. That's not how networking works. It's not how the world works. You have to be friends with these people so that maybe they could give you an opportunity or they tell you that there's a job opportunity somewhere that no one knows about. That's how most people get jobs. It's usually from some sort of connection, family member or even friends. Network, it's easy. It's such an effective tool, even if you think it's dumb. It's an absolute cheat code because you don't even have to be a good coder to get jobs. And by the way, if you want to join the Discord server where we have like 400 developers who are starting businesses together, who are helping each other find jobs and just an awesome group of people, you know, that are assisting each other in their coding journey, sharing everything from their own code to helping each other solve each other's bugs. Just an amazing group. So I'll leave that in the description below. And also, if you want the free developer roadmap, I'll also leave that in the description below. But yeah, happy coding. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.